Hi everyone and welcome back. Today it's the first of the month and happy March to everyone. And on the first of the each month, Altenew is coming up with a new stamp set for their Build a Flower collection. And this month they came up with these wonderful Canterbury Bells. Now I like to use these uh, flowers on my Alphabet Flower Art Journal, but I do have a page for both C and B. And that's why I will create a card. So you can see how lovely this uh, is and how beautiful it comes out when you stamp all the layers. The fun part about these stamp sets is that they do have the outline, so if you don't want to use the um, different layers to stamp them, then you can just stamp the outline and color it in with your favorite mediums. So there are a lot of uh, different ways that you can work with this stamp set. Now I'm going with the layers just because I love working with layers. I like how quick and easy you get a card done, and that's the... Um, and this is exactly my goal today. I need to have a quick card that looks absolutely stunning. So I started out with the outline with black ink and then I'm going to start stamping the layers one after the other. I am following the guidelines at the back of the packaging and although I did a perfect job on the first layer, now on the second layer of color you will see that it is slightly offset. But I really don't mind, I'm not going to stamp and start all over again. I'm going to show you a couple of tips on how you can cover up mistakes and I'm going to make a few of them on this card. So here is the third and last layer for the flowers and I absolutely love the contrast of the darkest color. That's why I'm going to stamp it one more time to make it even darker. I think that uh, shadows really bring those images to life. Now I'm going to move on and start stamping the layers for the leaves. I'm doing my best to align it the way I'm looking at it without having my head directly under the camera, but it is better if you have a bird's eye view. And again you will see at the bottom of the stem that I will be a little bit offset again, but I really don't mind, I am not going to start stamping all over again, I just love how it looks. There is one more layer for these leaves, so as I'm going to place it on top, I'm going to make sure that this time I will cover up that bottom stem, so it doesn't leave an empty space. And that's the case, and it's not showing as much as in the first layer. So stamping layer upon layer, you can fix your mistakes, nothing is going to show at the end, as the eye looks really on the full image and not on little details here and there. Now I'm going to stamp the last layer, which is the darkest one. And you know, this is the favorite of mine. It really brings everything to life. And can you see a smudge, a pink smudge just next to the leaves? I will take care of that later. So now I'm using a white gel pen and I'm going to cover up any mistakes. Wherever I see some pink ink coming out of the line too much, I'm just going to cover it up. No one will ever know. Remember, this is a handmade card. It is not printed by a computer, so it is normal to have some flaws, but you can cover them up. Now I'm going to use a rectangle die and this one has some stitching all around. I love the stitching detail on my cards. And I'm going to cut out the panel out of this. I'm going for a very simple card design today, just because I want to showcase mainly the beautiful design of the stamp and also show you a couple of tips on how you can make your cards look perfect, although they actually aren't. Now here I used my embossing ink to stamp a sentiment. I did stamp it a couple of times just because this is a very small font. When you press too much, it might uh, end up looking too thick and it's not readable. That's why I stamped it twice. Once I did press a lot and the second time I just touched lightly the card with my stamp set. And you will see the difference now. You can probably tell that the second one looks better. And just remember, when you stamp sentiments that are very small, use your paper trimmer, your scissors or a die to cut out this uh, sentiment. And now it's time to put my card together. I have a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and it matches perfectly the color of my flowers. And I'm going to place the sentiment directly on top of my pink smudge. This way I'm covering up everything no one will ever know of all the booboos I had while making this card. And this is common with my cards, you just don't see them. Because when you look at the finished card, you don't really see the flaws. 
when we look at other people's cards, we tend to think that they are perfect, but uh, that's because we mainly look at a beautiful stamped image or how they put things together. So we don't really see the mistakes, but trust me, they are there. They are handmade after all. Now, as you can see, I am embellishing my card with some gems. It is such a simple card design, so a little bit of sparkle here and there, it's going to make it look special. And that was the card for today. Don't forget that down below you will find links to everything I used. This is part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog to enter the giveaway. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you all next time.